my people, today I'm going to narrate to you a very beautiful hadith who is full of lessons for the believers. One day, a congregation was gathered at the home of Anda Ansar around Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. According to Anas radiallahu anhu, it was Abu Ayyub al-Ansari, the Prophet peace upon him, and the companion was sitting in the house of Abu Ayyub al-Ansari. In the middle of a wonderful discourse, an ugly voice from the outside was heard saying, Oh, the one inside, Oh, Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, will you permit me to enter? And he say, I have business with you. The voice was saying that, an ugly voice. Oh, look at, at the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who said to the own present, do you recognize the owner of this voice? The companion answered, Allah and his messenger know best. On hearing that, Umar radiallahu anhu, who was present, pulled his sword, asked, O oh, messenger of Allah, permit me to go and cut off his head. Because Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tell them is Shaitan the Akers who's talking. Umar pulled a sword. He tell to Shaitan Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, allow me to go and meet him and cut his head. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied to him, no Umar, don't you know you cannot kill him? You have permission to exist until doomsday. No one can kill Shaitan. He get the permission to leave. Then Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had opened the door and admit him as he did not come on his own but on Allah's order. Listen to what he says and try to understand Shaitan. They opened the door and here he arrived. They opened the door and he appeared in front of us as an old man, cross eye, for blind in one eye, and a scant of bird with only six or seven hair hanging from his chin. He had a very big head, his cross eyes close to the top of his head, high on his forehead, with a big thick hanging lips like those of a water bill fellow. <laughs> Satan was ugly that day. <laughs> Very ugly. He saluted the prophet peace be upon him and the companion to which the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam responded. O oh, Akish, the salam and salutation belong to Allah the Most High. <coughs> they no one send him Return his salutation. When Satan arrived, he said, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakah. But the Prophet tell him, O oh, Satan, salutation of peace is only for the Messiah. No one know the Jatsum your salutation because no one know the wish you peace here. <laughs> you mix up our life. Then Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, I hear you are here on business. He said, what is this business? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked him, tell me. Shaitan said, I did not wish to come here. I was forced. An angel come to me from your Lord, who honor whom he wishes, and said, Allah Most High order you to go to Muhammad but you will go to him in humility and abasement and be submissive and tractable. You will tell him how you seduce and mislead humankind. Go to the Prophet peace upon him and tell him all the secrets you use. You are going to answer all of his questions truthfully without a single lie. And Allah said that if I lie to you, 
Oh, Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you will turn me into ashes and blow me away in the wind and my enemy will laugh at me. I come with just order. Oh, Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, asked Shaitan, tell me, first question of the Prophet, who in the creation do you have the most? The Shaitan answered, you, oh, Muhammad, There is no one in the whole creation that I had more than you. Because there is none in the creation like you. And after you, all the messenger. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked Shaitan, Whom else do you detest beside me and the Prophet? Shaitan said, The young on who have given up their pleasure and themselves for Allah's sake. Where are the young one who give up everything for Allah's sake? They tell you, oh, I enjoy your life, you young. People, they tell you that. Even some parents, oh, he young, let him play. Allah wants you now. You know, wants you when you're old. When the world no wants you no more. The woman no wants you no more. You cannot get, get a job no more. <laughs> Anywhere you go, they know they hire you. <laughs> Then you see them every day with glasses they can read with the Quran in a long zikr beat. <laughs> <laughs> He cannot do nothing no more. He said, well, let me give up and take the Quran. Every minute you see them, uh, crook. <laughs> He used his power, his strength, his life, his wealth, and everything he had, he used it to follow Adunia. He was a lover of Adunia. It's only because he's old now. Nobody cannot fool him. Satan so said he detests, he hates the young people who have given up their pleasure and themselves for Allah's sake. He said, I detest this young, young guys. Are you following? Yes. And he said, the men of knowledge who act upon their knowledge and decline all what is doubtful. The unwar clean, so clean that they wash thrice, that they wish to be clean. And it, it making allusion of the people who they make voodoo a lot. They are clean before making salat. Satan, you hate that. He wanted you to make prayer. But don't make voodoo. Or if you make voodoo, don't make prayer. <laughs> Or if you make voodoo and salat, do not recite Al-Quran. <laughs> Or if you recite Al-Quran, escape the ruku. <laughs> Are you following? Yes. This is Satan. He don't want you to go all the way. He needs to fight with you until he takes something from you. Then he says... He hid the patient poor, the poor people who are patient. He's still there waiting for Allah. He says, a patient poor who need to ask for all the things they need, not complain. Then the thankful rich, the people who rich, who thank Allah, who gives alm lawfully and spend the money lawfully. Then he says, The knowledgeable who act on what they know. Then he say, I hate the reader of the Quran who patterns themselves on it. Are you following? I think I begin like that. Read the Quran day and night. But you know pattern like the Quran says. So it's not about reading the Quran. It's about taking lesson from the Quran and change your entire life. And this is what we're missing. The only problem of the Ummah is that anybody say the Quran is great, die, let me read the Quran, let me memorize the Quran. But after you finish all that, there is a void in the heart because you have never been used for changing the way you live. And this is very important. Then, those who call to prayer for Allah's sake, the Muazzin. Oh, Satan, he had uh, the Muazzin. Because in an hadith, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, the adhan, it makes shaitan run away. 
You know it again in the masjid now. When the mazin get up and say, Allah, wa khubari, say, oh, he boiled my business. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they had, they had the mazin. Because what that means, it telling the people, uh, shaitan is arriving, get up, we're going to focus on our Lord for the worship. Because if you meet the people doing anything else, no, it can infiltrate in the rank of the believers. It mix up them. That is what Shaitan did do. He had the Muazin. Muazin they remind the people God and them duty to Allah. And he tell them to stand up in Qiyam and ready to, to worship and bow down for them, Lord, who created them. And they take out in their mind whatever is not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that time, Shaitan will be among the loser because no one no interested about him. And that's why keeping in Salat in one of the symbol of opening a finger, he said the people talking to shaitan, who is still navigating among the row, you tell him, don't approach only one God. <laughs> That's the symbol. Don't approach only one God. I'm seeing you, only one God. There is no God but God. All the symbol to telling shaitan, you get out from me because I am in that. He says, shaitan says, the compassionate, the generous, those who perform the morning prayer on time. Because if you're generous, shaitan hates you. It's, it's almost tempting a poor man to take him, to give him a gun and tell him, rob the bank. <laughs> he bring the gun Is the near of the house of the man to let him go to the bank, you arrive and you deliver the man by helping him with his need of that day. He tells Satan, I don't want this gun no more. <laughs> Because what I was trying to go look for, I have it. That is the beauty of giving me generous. You save many souls before they go to, to, to go astray. He said, And those who perform the morning prayer on time at Salat al-Fajr, who Satan had these people. He said, if these people forsake their bed in this cold weather, proceeding in a masjid, is raining, is dark, these people must be my enemy. I know they're not going to listen to me. <laughs> and those who abstain from unlawful food and sexual relations, And those who always in ablutions, the modest those who place their trust in Allah, benefit of the poor, the devout busy in Allah's service. Then Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked, "What happened to you, O accursed shaitan, when my people do their prayer?" He say, "I shake and tremble as I stricken with malaria, because I see you people raised in blessing." and power each time they prostrate. Men don't know that it is in a station when you fall prostrate. Satan say, I see that. And far as they go, lesser my power is on them to attract them. So when I see them they're praying, I am very upset because these people, soon they will reach to, to distinction, to understanding, and I will not able to tend to them no more. What happened to you, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, asked him, when my people fast, I have my hand and feet tied until they break their fast. What that mean? I think I tell you the hikmah in the hadith one day in class when we were learning this hadith. Satan is tied during fast months. He mean he cannot do nothing to you. You have surrender indeed. 100% focus on the Lord who have created you. Whatever he tend, tend to do, he failed. It look like Satan is tied. Because at that moment, even the bandy are holy in the month of Ramadan. He says, what happened when all meet on pilgrimage at the house of them Lord? He say, I lose my wits and I go very mad. He say, what happened to you when they recite the Quran? 
I melt like lead, turning to hot liquid in the fire. When he read the Quran. And when they pay arms, I am torn to pieces, as if the generous donor took a saw and sawed me into four pieces. When you see you paying zakat, it look like you get knife, the cut shaitan in four pieces. Because there are four beatitude which the donor receive, the blessing of abundance, love and respect from a large creature, a shell from hellfire, a relief from distress and trouble. When you give zakat, you get all those four things when you give zakat to somebody. Allah give you all these four things. That's why it's very important to give zakat. He says, they receive four things. The blessing of abundance, love and respect from Allah's creator, a shell from hellfire, and relief from distress and troubles. Even to give zakat prevent you from an accident you've been supposed to have one hour before you give. When you give a charity, an accident been supposed to take place one hour after you leave. You accept that accident because the charity you have given. There is nothing like that. Allah Then Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked him, ask what you thought of his beloved companion. Tell me what you think about my companion. About Abu Bakrin radiallahu anhu. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked him then. He said, I hate him. Even before Islam, he refused to obey me. Nay, even to hear me. Abu Bakr, even before he entered Islam, it looked like Allah been blessed him that any time Satan entered in a crowd, he had lived. Like he felt that he know that. And Iblis said, I hate him. Even before Islam, he have never obeyed me. What a blessing this man has. He tell him about Umar ibn Khattab, radiallahu anhu. He says, I run away whenever I see him. What about Usman ibn Affan? He said, I am ashamed in front of him. Even the angel of mercy are ashamed in front of Usman ibn Affan. What about Ali ibn Abba Talib? He says, oh, if I could just be safe from him, if you would just let me be, I would let him be, but he will not leave me alone. If Shaitan come to see Nalim, say Nalim looking for him. If Shaitan leaves say Nalim, say Nalim looking for Shaitan. He said, the deal I want with him, Make he leave me alone, I leave him alone. <laughs> Having heard the answer of the accursed Shaitan, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam thanked Allah and said, Praise be to Allah who has blessed my people with such felicity and curse you with you with such negativity until that appointed day. When the devil heard that, he says, Alas, alas, O Muhammad, what felicity for you people. How can you feel there is safety for, for them as long as it exists? I enter their vein, their very flesh, and they cannot even suspect that. Let alone see or feel me. I swear by Allah, who has given me time until Tom's day, that I will seduce, seduce them, all the intelligent and the simple-minded, the learned, as the well, as the ignorant, the devout, as well as the sinner, none will be safe from me except the true servant of Allah. He will not leave you nowhere at no time. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked him, who are the true servant of Allah according to you? He asked that shaitan. Shaitan says, you know well, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that whoever love is money, and his property, Allah does not count him among his servants. Take me. Allah, Allah. Allah. Whoever loves money, fools, you become Abdu Dinar. <laughs> or let's say Abdu Dollar. <laughs> and Allah no love those people. Allah. Whoever loves money, Allah do not love you. 
Because money and God, they cannot be together. You need to pick one. Pick one. They cannot go together. No, no, no. It says, whenever I see someone who does not say mine and me, who does not love eat money or flattery, I know he's truly a servant of Allah, and I run away from him. As long as I love money, property, flattery, he obey me, he is my servant, me, Shaitan. The accords. Take beer. Allah You see, he even know the characteristics for look for to get a talib, Shaitan. Shaitan is a sheikh. <laughs> oh, no. He's a great sheikh, Shaitan. So, but he says, I need some talib. But how can I see who qualify to come to take bayat to me? He said, let me look. Anybody who love money, I can make him take bayat to me. You see how important. So if you are a real sheikh, anybody who love money, do not allow him to take bayat to you. <laughs> Only take the people who now want money and leave the people who love money with shaitan. Those are the, the type of shaitan. As long as on love money, property and flattery, he obey me, he is my servant. Allah Azim. And I know that for a fact. You even no need to tell me that. I need many servants. And I have many servants. Is shaitan the telling this to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? And where he get the servant from Bani Adam? Where? In the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He did, he did, uh, because Allah, don't forget in the beginning, he tell him you cannot lie. You must tell Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam all the truth. He telling him that. I am not alone. I have 70,000 children. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Shaitan saying he has 70,000 children. He a scatter, make they do the job. Each one of them is qualified and get a diploma from Shaitan to do the job. He says, and each of this my 70,000 children I assign them to different posts. Are you following me? Each of my 70,000 children has 70,000 shaitan with them. Are you following, brother? Are you following? He says, each of my 70,000 children has 70,000 shaitan serving under him. All assigned to different posties. Many are with the young, many with the older women, many with the theologian, many with the preachers, many with the shio. Yeah, he is there. Huh? He said, I take them, they able to be around the trio and mix up them life. Satan is very smart. He know where to go to his job to be done right. <laughs> if you mix up woman and you mix up the teacher, nothing no left in this dunya. <laughs> You mix up Nisa and you mix up the Suyo. <laughs> it says there are almost no difference of opinion between your young people and my dev- devil. He tell Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you see you young guy, you Muslims, they just think and agree upon 
with the other shaitan I sent them. They are same generation. They like the same thing. They agree upon anything when they sit down together. He said, <laughs> this is painful. So I, said, I don't know if you follow it. Yes. You follow it? Yes, yes, yes. If I send them to your youth of you, Ummah, they agree upon. Like they say, Mutlaq Ali. <laughs> In Hadith. That the six are agreed upon. He said, the shaitan, I send to them. I meet them, they was waiting for them. They get the same desire, the same plan. They traveling in the same road. They won't achieve the same things. So these people almost even no need to do no job because what they're coming to do is already there. Are you following me? <laughs> shaitan talking. He said, my devils, my small shaitan, and you children play happily with my children. They're happy to see them. He says, and you know I believe on that. Can you imagine a man would argue with somebody and suddenly he shoot him? Can you imagine a man who take five, six, seven people, kill them, put them in bed, throw them? Can you imagine the man who killed that woman with his pregnant woman with the baby. You know this is not the doing of a sane human being. You know really indeed this is a terrible thing of about shaitan who lead these people to that destruction. He says and some of the devout and some of the pious get along very well with my children. Can you imagine this? My shaitan lead the imagination of the pious from one head to an another. Aragon, they have the sincerity of their devotion. Soon they fight with each other and they don't even know what is happened to them. They come to between you until you begin the fight and they withdraw. You even don't know why you're fighting. Then I whisper to them, disbelieve, disbelieve. Disbelief. You see, when you see a riot, people all throwing a stone, <laughs> burning buildings. You get in the crowd and you hold one man or one young man. You tell him, hey, what's going on? He gets stone, he's throwing. You say, what's going on? He says, I don't know. <laughs> you say, uh, you don't know you in the crowd. In, in a riot, It's must only the front line, the first 10 people know what's going on. <laughs> All the people are throwing the stone and burning people's houses <laughs> and breaking the glasses of them without knowing what's going on. You know, indeed, Satan is able to do a great job <laughs> because he even don't know why he's throwing the stone. He says, But when they disbelieve, I say I am free of you. Satan going to follow you until you disbelieve. Then it tell you, good luck. I will welcome you in my living room in Narijana, my Yom Al-Qiyam. He go look for somebody else. <laughs> as soon as you disbelieve, Satan is not going to see you no more. Never in Yom al He no want you no more because his mission is accomplished on you. He's looking for somebody else to mislead. And he say, but when they disbelieve, I say to them, I am free of you. Surely I fear Allah, the Lord of the world. He say, time they tell you that. In Surah Asham, verse 16. He say, when you disbelieve, he tell you, Ma salam, me. I fear Allah Azza wa Jalla. <laughs> Subhanallah. Until you disbelieve, he tell you, I fear Allah Azza wa Jalla and he's gone. Are you following me? Then the accursed devil told how he profit from habit of men which he like. But he said, 
Do you know, O Muhammad وسلم, that lying is from me? He said, lying is from him. And that I am the first whoever lies become my best friend. Whoever swear to the truth of his lie become my beloved. That I swear by Allah and lie to Adam and Eve. I swear to them Surely, I was a sincere advisor. Surah Al-Araf, 21. I also love rejection and gossip. They are my delightful fruits. I detest loving families. He said, gossip, that is really his job. And he likes to see the people doing it. If they think of rejecting its order, separating from its order, and talk about divorce, even if just us, the marriage bound in Allah's view is this love. The wife will be unlawful to the husband when they sleep together. They will be adulterer. If they have a child, it will be a bastard. And I love all of that. Oh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Let me tell you about my friends who abandon prayer and delay them. When it is time for prayer, I make them imagine that there is still, is still time. That they are busy, they should enjoy what they are doing. They can always pray later. I hope they will die before long their next prayer, and some of them do. He say the one who they make people delay prayer, Until and hoping, delaying prayer, he wants some people die and they no pray that what? That's why they, they try to make the people delay them prayer. Are you following me? This is a, indeed the enemy, manifest enemy of man. He says, I hope they will be, they die before long. If I cannot succeed myself, I send them a human shaitan who will prevent them from their devotion. If I don't succeed again, I enter into their prayer. I tell them, look to the right, look to the left. Think of the past, plan your future. And when they do, carry their cheek and kiss their forehead and take the peace from their hearts. He say, what is doing to the people? Oh, you Muhammad, do you know That the prayer of those whose attention is outside of them are who are imagining things which do not belong in the presence of Allah are also rejected and thrown in their face. And if I am not successful in that, I order them to do their prayer fast and they look like hands picking at grains. <laughs> if I know able to prevent them to make salad, I gonna make them make the salad but very fast, like Some uh, 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 cock who picking grain from the, the ground. <laughs> When they put down their head and come back. So they never make a better salad. If I still don't succeed, I follow them to the congregation prayer and put bridle on their head. I pull and lift their head from the prostration before the imam. He say, but well, I cannot stop them to go and pray. I make sure they pull them out head from procession before the imam. Say, get up you too long. <laughs> you get high blood pressure. <laughs> you blood coming down, get up. Don't follow that imam, you know well. You extend up. He say he's going to do that. He says, and I push their head down before the imam, toss his head to the ground. And I am overjoyed to remember that Allah will turn those unruly head into donkey on the day of judgment. If I'm still not successful, I try at least to make them crack their finger while they are making prayer. Then they will be among those who make my tasbih a state of Allah tasbih. Or at least I will blow into their nose 
and make them yawn. And if they open their mouth, a little devil will enter into them through their mouth and increase their love and ambition of this dunya. The one who loves and who loves and it is ambitious for the world become my soldier. He obey me and does as he is ordered to do. O oh, Muhammad, how can you hope by and be serene about your people's salvation and felicity? I have a trap at every corner for them. I go to the poor and tell them, what has Allah done for you? Why do you pray to him? Pray is for those to whom he has given in abundance. <laughs> then I go to the one who are sick and tell them to stop praying and remind them that even Allah said, there is no blame, blame on the sick. Surah to Nur, <laughs> verse 61. <laughs> Hey, you sick, sit still, lay down. Uh, bring a blanket, drink a hot cup of coffee. Don't pray. You know you what Allah say, there is no blame in the sick. He the cut the Quran for you, Satan. <laughs> and I hope that they will die abandoning their prayer so that Allah will meet them with anger in the hereafter. Oh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if I have told a single lie, may a scorpion bite me and ask from Allah that it turn me into ashes. Oh, Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, do not be sure of you people. I have already converted a six of them. One six of them, of the ummah of Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Shaitan tell the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. <laughs> he say, if you are 60, he already converted Daiman Abada, one six of those. Who left their religion forever. And this was during the time of Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was telling him that. I am finishing. It's a very long hadith. Because they take the hadith narrated by um, Anas and by Muayas to complete this hadith. Then Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked, Oh, I could sit on. With whom you do most to spend your time? Who you want to be a good friend, you to spend time with it. He said, number one, the uzura. Would eat uzur, riba. Are you following me? Satan said, I love the people of riba. He said, and who is your best friend? He said, the adulterer. He said, with whom do you share your bed? Who you like to share bed with? He said, the drunkard. Who are your guests? He said, the chief. I love to give them dinner. <laughs> Until they eat, I tell them good luck. <laughs> Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked him, who are your representative? He said, the magician and the soothsayer. What please you? Must, he said, divorce. <laughs> Whom do you love most? Those who abandon their Friday prayer. Take beer. The most people Satan love, he said, those who abandon their, their, their Friday prayer. He said, I love those people. Come to Juma. And I give 10 friends of Satan in this hadith. He said the tyrants, the oppressor, the arrogant, the servile scholar, who the truth for the benefits of tyrant, the zonet tradesmen who sell one thing who costs one dollar, they sell it twenty dollar. Those are the friends of Shaitan. The drinker of alcohol, the dealer in fraud, and those who stir up trouble among friends. Then Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asking, What break your heart? O accursed Shaitan. He said the determination and the firm step of those who march against the enemy of Allah for the sake of Allah, advancing the army for jihad visibility day. He said, what gives you pain, shaitan? The repentance of the penitent. Anybody will say, Astaghfirullah azim lazi la ilaha ilahu wa atubu ilayhi ya rabbi akfirli. 
Satan say, if you say, what to be he repent, he say, oh, I lost this man. He not like to hear it then. He says, what make you grimace in your face? He said, the alm given in secret, when you're giving somebody in secret. What make you eye blind? The child, the, the tahajud pray in the middle of the night. He cannot see. He say, as soon as the people stand up, forsake them bed, Allah block his eye. <laughs> what make you blow your head? Prayer done in congregation. The prophet continued asking Satan. He says, who are the happiest among people? He said, the one who purposely abandoned their prayer. I loved him. <clears throat> and the best among people, he said, the miser. What prevents you from doing your job? He said, the gathering of men of knowledge and their discourse. With them by hand. I cannot do my job because anybody knows we're talking about him. He come here ten times. But he go back, he say, oh no, this is the wrong place. They're talking about me. <laughs> They're talking about my trick. Let me go wet them outside. Either wait you until you enter in your car, he get back in. But here, he know we talking about is him. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked him, how do you eat your food? He say, with my left hand and the tip of my finger. When the sun is hot, where do you seek shade? And the people dirty fingernail. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked him, What did you ask from my Lord on the day you are, were rejected from his presence? I had ten requests which were accorded to him. I asked Allah Azza wa Jalla ten things and he accorded to me. I, ask, as, I asked Allah to make me a partner in the property and children of the children of Adam. He gave that to me and I said, I ask it whom you cast with tea voice and collect them tea horse and tea food and share with them in wealth and children and promise of the devil promise and only to deceive Surah to Bani Israel verse 64 I eat from the dunk of animal kill it without the basmala <laughs> and from the food bowed by money gained through injustice and tyranny I am the shareholder of the property whose owner does not take refusing Allah from me. I am part father of the child which come from intercourse performing without the basmala. Anytime we lay down sleep with his wife and do not begin with bismillah, shaitan say, I am part of that child. And that's why today, because you know, follow the son of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa the child become wild <laughs> because shaitan have a part in it. Things have not begun right. And you, you wonder, what's going on with my son or with my daughter? And it was in the beginning, nothing had begun right. I asked Allah to give me a house. And he gave me the public bath. And I asked Allah to give me a temple. And he gave me the marketplace as my temple. I asked Allah to give me a book. And he gave me the book of the poetry, the poets, as my book. I ask Allah to call to prayer. I ask Allah to give me a call to prayer, and he give me the dancing music. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> that is his azan, the dance. Subhanallah. Leave this dance. Wallahi is the azan of shaitan. Can you imagine how the people dig it up? Can you see the people in those disco? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think something is wrong? <laughs> you know when the Azan is called you see anybody get up taking ablution very busy and leave everything can you imagine when they put the, the disc jockey put busy <laughs> do you see the people the way they act you indeed know this is the Azan as that Satan has called indeed Satan has called leave the music where are my musicians here leave the music in the Azan of Satan 
I asked for someone to share my bed, and he gave me the drunkard. I asked Allah for help. Allah give me those who believe in free will. I ask Allah to give me brothers and sisters, and Allah give me the squander who spend their money on evil things. Allah said, surely the squander are the devil Britain. Surah to Banna Israel 27. <laughs> Then I asked Allah to be able to see the children of Adam while they are unable to see me. And he accorded me that I wished that the very vein of the children of Adam by my root and it was given to me. Is the root of Satan, his road to travel is in the vein of the children of Adam. And let me add, O oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that there are more with me than there are with anybody until doom day. There will be more with me than there are with you. <coughs> He said the people, they tend to be quick. <coughs> Then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if you had not proven what you said with the verses of Allah's book, I would have been hard for, for me to confirm what you have said. But indeed, it's this thing you have said to me, You have given me the verse from the Quran. The devil continued, Do you know, O Muhammad, that I have a son whose name is Atam, in Arabic, the first third of the night. He gave, he gave his son a name, Atam, who is the first third of the night. So make it go, mix up the people. He pisses in the ear of the people who go to sleep without performing their night prayer. His urine put them to sleep, otherwise no one could have gone to bed without finishing their prayer. Then I have a son whose name is Mutakadi. In Arabic, on who presses for payment. His duty is to publicize the prayer, the devotion, the good deed which are done in secret for Allah's sake. He makes sure you're talking about you, talking about the good you do, until you're not going to get nothing in the day of your Qiyam. He say, when deed are publicized and receive credit and praise from the Creator of Allah, Allah takes away 99 of the promises, 100 revived. He left only one for you. And you have it already because the people have clapped for you because of the good you do. Then I have a son whose name is Kuhal, Khul. His duty is to put Khul in the eyes of those in the presence of a wise man or a sheikh. The onward eyes is half touched, a star falling asleep. That's why you want to see them. <laughs> When somebody, uh, I know the secret. When somebody gives him lecture, you're going to see something, Satan son have arrived with his bottle, and you have put that liquid near the eye, And these people now, they cannot listen no more. They fell asleep. And that is the job of Satan. But then, from hearing the word of Allah or receiving any benefit from them. The devil talked talk about women, he said, whenever a woman leaves her seat, a devil sit in her place. On the lap of every woman sit a Satan who make her desirable, who ever look at her. Then he ordered the woman to open and show her arm, her leg, and her breast, and with his shaw, tear her well, and shame and decency. You hear this beautiful point? I was there. Listen to me, I am closing. Listen to this point. He say, anytime a woman sit down, Satan say, I'm going to affect two of my great soldiers in the lap of the woman. One Satan here, and one Satan here. Check that. So when you look at a woman, she begins smiling. Is the two soldiers, they tell him, do some. <laughs> Say this, this man who looking at you, smile, take out your scarf for a while, put it back. You see the woman, they uh, 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 allonge your legs. All this woman, they do, you say, man, this woman, I it's the way they look me, it must, she must love me. Satan <laughs> is. <laughs> Satan is doing this beautiful job. He mixing you up. And the stool of shaitan in the lap of the woman, they order the woman to do all this type of acrobacy. <laughs> Smile. Show you his your neck. You see, the woman no need to look here. He just turned. <laughs> all this, you, you're looking of that. 
but because of they want to catch you. <laughs> the shaitan doing this job. Now you go home, you say, man, that woman I met in that conference. <laughs> You're looking for a phone number to call. <laughs> shaitan don't put you in a trouble where you cannot able to take again. He says, shaitan will make her desirable to ever look at her. Then he ordered the woman to open and show her arm, her legs, her breasts, and with its clothes, tear her well and shame and decency. You see, that's why they dress like they dress. Shaitan have trained them of catching men until they wear those good clothes. Who you sit down to talk with them, their breast is out. This is the job of Shaitan. Then the devil started to complain. He said, Oh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in spite of all this, I have no strength to take away the faith of the faithful. I only take away faith when they throw it away. If I were able, there would be no one in the face of this world who could say, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Whoever said, There is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is the messenger. Satan no one to hear that. Anybody will say that, escape Satan. I would not leave a single one to pray or fast. All I can do is to give the children of Adam imagination, illusion, and delusion. Make the ugly appear beautiful, the wrong look right, and the bad look good. Neither do you have the power to give faith. You are only a proof of the truth. Because I know that if you were given the power to give true faith, you would not leave a single no believer on the face of this world. The fortunate one who is a believer is fortunate in his mother's womb, and the rebellious sinner is a rebel in his mother's womb. As you are the guide of the fortunate, I am only the cause of sin of the one who are destined to sin. Allah is he who render unfortunate and another rebellious. Then he recited from Surah to Hood. And if the Lord had pleased it, he would have made people a single nation. And they cease not to defer except those upon whom the Lord has mercy. And for this he did he create them and the word of the Lord is fulfilled. Shaitan is the one who would tell that to, to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, Hell will be filled with jinn and men altogether. Surah to Hud, 118, 119. He recited from Surah to Azab, and the command of Allah is a decree that is made absolute. Then mercy upon the universe told the devil, O oh, Father of all bitterness, I wonder. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.